Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? Que bola? Bitch is back. I'm here to do the card of the day for Friday, April 12th, 2024. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice. Hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition and empathy, but not everyone listens to it as you can see the state of the world. So, with that being said, the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyrighted, and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patent Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. This is just a focus of intention for the next 24 to 96 hours as directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself. You connect whatever you want because that's none of my motherfucking business. With that being said... You know, if it doesn't apply, let this shit motherfucker fly. I'm not for everyone. Everyone's not for me. Get it? Got it? Good. So I just want to say early birds pricing special for year three magic manifestation, a year in magic is going to be up until April 15th. It's $377 for a 12 month course. When after the 15th, it goes up to $777. And no, you do not have to take year one and year two. We start our first class Wednesday, April 17th. We're going to be talking about dreams, astral travel, sleep paralysis, all the good, the bad, the ugly, the deities, the folklore, the legends, the spells, all of that. So if you'd like to join me, we do it live once a month. That is my teaching program, a group teaching program. And if you'd like to join me for Love Thyself, Love and Know Thyself, Love Thyself is still available. We have one spot left. Left Love and Know Thyself. The six-month program is not available until mid-summer, early fall. And the Soulful Mastery Entrepreneurial Program is not available again until next year. That is a 12-month program where I work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you expand your business. Um, trying to think what else. 420. I know a lot of you are going to be out doing your thing. Go ahead, but 420 is the next community reading at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is Saturday. It's, great. it's where you get to ask a question for $30 to join a group platform on Zoom. It will not be recorded for privacy reasons. It will not be recorded. Let me repeat that. If you don't show up, you don't show up and you don't get a recording. Um, you join for $30. You get to ask any one question that you want, but what usually happens is somebody's getting their answers that answer could also apply to another area of your life. Win-win, but it's also a great place to check out my energy to see if I resonate with you and you resonate with me. 30 bucks, not bad, right? I have other ways you can do readings. I have one-card questions. I have candle readings that I light a candle on my altar and I read the glass, the wax, and the flame in regarding to your specific intention or your request. Or I do personal candle readings. You burn a candle at home. You want to know what the hell it means. You send me an email. You purchase the service and I'll break it down for you. Even if you do an egg cleansing on yourself. If you do an egg cleansing and you don't know what it means, you take pictures, you purchase the service on the website. If you don't even know how to do an egg cleansing, go to my website, egg cleansing service. You can read it. You can read how to do one, and if you feel you can decipher the message for yourself, go for it. Keep it. You don't know how to purchase a service, okay? There's many ways to get in touch with me. There's also small bay leaf spells where I burn a bay leaf for a specific intention of mine, and I tell you what I pick up and what I see with the smoke and what I feel. Um, again, it's kind of a mini reading and a spell at the same time, so it's more than one. So there's that. I do also do custom spell work, but that is very expensive. It's usually as the last resort. And if you've not worked with me before, a consultation is required before you purchase a custom spell work. Custom spell work pricing is not on the website. You need to email that. For those of you who've done Love Thyself before, like Love Thyself alumni, you guys can join the program at any time if you need to do it again, or you can join the Love Thyself maintenance program where you join me for an hour, half an hour, or two hours um, increment committed for at least six months, maximum of 12. We meet once a month to tweak where you're at. Again, it's a maintenance program because Love Thyself is a three-month program where I meet with you every week for 12 weeks, one-on-one. -on -one. And Love Thy Know Thyself is a six-month program, so there's that. So if you guys are interested, Love Thyself alumni, the maintenance program is now on the website. Send an email. I think that's pretty much what we got going on. Okay, it didn't flip. Let's be specific. All right, the card of the day is coming from the Witching Hour Oracle deck. Now, please give us one card of the day. Flip it in the deck. What do we need for April 12th? 2024 okay and the card of the day is called the blood moon which means justice Ooh, baby justice with that eclipse that we just had that new moon talking about you know healing our old wounds this literally aligns perfectly so let's see the card is called the blood moon but it is all about justice okay all right, Justice. It's connected to the blood moon, also a waning moon, and is represented by my favorite of the triple goddess, the crone. 
If y'all don't know, I am a daughter of Hecate. Hecate is the crone. Okay, so the waning blood moon is a time for justice. The crone is pictured on this card with a firm and steady grip on the scales of justice, referring to fairness by weighing the evidence. The skulls represent her consideration of her current existence and her mortality. The crone is blindfolded to represent impartiality to the situation at hand. Drawing the justice cards, it is time to consider just behavior or treatment in a specific set, specific set of circumstances have you not been fair in a particular situation with a loved one have you been rushed to a conclusion without considering the thoughts and feelings of another person or has someone else not treated you fairly in a recent situation the time is right to find where the in inequity i can't speak where is the time is fine right to find where the iniquity lies and brings justice to the situation so basically spirit is saying it is time to get the truth nothing but the truth and the whole truth so help you creator okay and it's not about you learning your death. The skulls represents your existence and your you know, eternity. With that being said, it's not about moving things in a specific way like, oh, you did this wrong, you did me wrong, so I need to know why. No, it's about you seeking justice in your spirit, in your mind, in your heart to what you feel that has been done to you unfairly. Ask yourself a couple questions though. Is it really unfair or am I in my ego and I'm kind of butthurt about what happened to me? Or another scenario, I don't know why, but I just heard this. Um, is it unfair that so-and-so got a chance to do this because, you know, you could be doing the same thing, but you really never took the risk because you were kind of afraid that you would be powerful. Some of us are afraid of our own power. Um, is it really because you want to do what somebody else does and again, you just didn't take the risk and you didn't bet on yourself? Um, is your heartbreak really the worst thing that happened? Um, I understand you might be hurt over time, history, children involved, finances involved. You could be in a relationship like 20 plus years and all of a sudden you just, it's not fair that it's over, whatever the case is, but were you really, were you really content? Were you really in the same space, um, in the same joy and the same hope and the same trajectory as your partner? after a heartbreak um sometimes it's time to be honest with yourself and sometimes being fair to yourself and take the blame where you know you did wrong like own your shit because even in your mess you'll get blessed as i always say you do your best to let the universe take care of the rest but if you do not become transparent and you are not honest with yourself meaning that sometimes you fuck shit up and you the justice card is about you facing your truth you facing your wounds see what you what you had a part to play in your wounds versus what somebody else did but after you've seen the truth about yourself and you're looking for just reasoning as to why you're going through what you're going through, have you been standing in your own way? Have you been the culprit all the wrong, all the time, all this time? If so, honor that, own it, learn from it. If other people have hurt you in any way, shape, or form, ask what you need to do energetically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually within yourself. Go ask your ancestors. I always say your ancestors are your first line of defense. Ask your ancestors what it is that you need to ask. Let me let me get let me make this really co correct. Let me make this correct. I'm sorry, my speech and impediment is going on overboard today. I do have one. It is what it is. Let me say this correctly. Ask your elevated, elevated, elevated ancestors. Not just your ancestors. Some of your ancestors are a hot mess, just like mine are. Ask your elevated ancestors for guidance and clarity. They're your first line of defense. Ask your guardian angels. We all have them, even if you may not believe them. They're not associated with specific cultures. They've just been claimed by cultures, but doesn't mean that they're Christian and Catholic. I've never met a Catholic angel before uh, or a Catholic guardian angel or a Pentecostal archangel. Angels are just the creator's messengers. They're non-denominational and they're omnipotent, okay? Archangels are omnipotent, not guardian angels. But with that being said, ask your truth, move forward and light move forward in strength, move forward in joy, and move forward in peace. I love you, and I hope I helped. I hope I put some things in perspective, and I hope I made you feel better. If you need me, I would love to work with you, but as always, please follow your intuition, working with any spiritual advisor, even if that means you don't work with me.